my YouTube channel and today I will be showing you guys how to use wax seals. So this is my wax seal kit. I actually made it myself. Uh, I'll show you guys a tour in a bit. Um, I'll just show you guys the materials. Uh, here are my bag of wax seals. <laughs> if you guys follow my TikTok, you'll see I make a few wax seal videos and you can tell I love wax seals. And here is my new wax plate. Uh, because I've been using a plastic container for quite a while now uh, and it's not really the best thing to do because it sticks sometimes so yeah and here are my two furnaces They're, they have a little block there because of the fire but yeah so I'm gonna go transfer to the other camera now so that I can show you guys how everything looks Okay guys, so here are my things. Um, I'll show you guys what's inside. So, here we have the um, wax seal handles. I'll show you guys how you use it in a bit. Here we have some washi tape. That's just from my other furnace because the candle keeps sticking. So, <laughs> I use a washi tape to um, block it. Here I have my, my spoons. Um, my lighter we also have my candles over here my wax seal beads and here are the wax stamp heads Oops. I'll get that so here we have the handle you just simply do this and ta-da you just Stamp it on the wax, the melted wax, and wait for a few seconds and you're done. So let's get started. I want to use this one because it's a little easier for me, but you guys can choose whatever you want. And I'm going to use a new candle because my other candle just started uh, getting too small already. So I'm just going to get this candle. And get my lighter over here. And we're going to use color pink for a reason. And then I'm gonna get my spoon. Just let them and you are supposed to clean these spoons. I'm I just get lazy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna wait for the extra wax to get melted. Okay, so it's melted now. I'm just going to use about four, but you can use two to three. Don't touch it like I am, because it's actually really hot. So now we'll just wait for it to melt. So now, as you can see, the wax is melting. You can get a toothpick. Uh, this just really hard because of the holes here but Okay, so now it's fully melted. We'll just put that aside and get our wax pad on our plate. Just put the extra wax there. I recycle my wax guys just so that they don't get to waste. And I'm going to choose this design over here. And we'll just get a handle over here. Screw that on. Get this.
gosh, it looks so cute. Now we'll just wait for a little longer just to make sure it's dry. Okay guys, so it's already dry, so we'll just simply take it off. There it is. Look how smooth the bottom is. It's so glossy. Anyway, that's not what we're focusing on. So here it is guys, it's so pretty. I could make these all day, but of course I wouldn't because that would be a waste. Um, and if you guys are wondering how come I make pre-made wax, it's so that when I have a letter, I already have an idea what color to use and what design. So that's one thing I really like about making pre-made wax. And I recommend you guys get this. Um, I won't link any of these on my bio because there's just too many. But you guys can find it on Shopee or on Lazada. There's a lot to find there. And yeah, here they are. I'm just going to put this with the other boxes. But here it is. It's so pretty. And I hope you guys make pretty ones like how I made over here. And just remember that practice makes perfect. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. So yeah guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!